Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this given problem that involves the trigonometric ratios as you can see over here. And here's our problem, sine of 13 degrees times sine of 77 degrees divided by sine of 154 degrees. And we are not supposed to use calculators of any kind. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on at the denominator this 154 degrees and here I have copied it down 154 and 154 could be written as 77 plus 77. So we can write our this given problem as sine of 13 degrees time sine of 77 degrees divided by sine of 77 degrees plus 77 degrees. And now let's focus on the denominator sine of 77 plus 77. And here I have copied it down. And now we will be using this double angle formula that means sine of theta plus theta equals to 2 sine theta cosine theta. In our case this 77 is our theta and this 77 is another theta. So this could be written as 2 sine of 77 degrees times cosine of 77 degrees. So let's revert back to our this original problem. Let's go ahead and write it down sine of 13 degrees on the numerator times sine of 77 degrees divided by I am going to replace this one by this one I can write 2 sine of 77 degrees times cosine of 77 degrees. And now we can see that this sine of 77 degrees and this sine of 77 degrees, they cancel each other out. So we are ended up on the top is going to be sine of 13 degrees divided by 2 cosine of 77 degrees. And now let's focus on this 77 degrees and we can write 77 as 90 minus 13. So we can write our this problem as sine of 13 degrees divided by 2 cosine of 90 degrees minus 13 degrees and now let's focus in the denominator cosine of 90 minus 13 degrees and here I have just copied it down and here's our co-function identities table as you can see over here we are going to apply this identity cosine of 90 degrees minus theta equal to sine theta in our case this 13 degrees is our theta so this could be written as sine of theta which is 13 degrees so therefore this our problem could be written as on the top we have a sine of 13 degrees divided by 2 times this cosine of 90 minus 13 degrees turns out to be a sine of 13 degrees I'm going to write down sine of 13 degrees. Now we can see that sine of 13 degrees and sine of 13 degrees they cancel each other out so we are ended up with simply 1 over 2 and that is our answer. So thus our final answer turns out to be a 1 over 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye!